Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Crash Twin Sanity. Last time, we made our way through Ice Climb, freeing Uka Uka by accident and battling him. As a result, you know, Uka Uka and Aku... Aku? Went to go and fight the evil twins. This one who is following me is the lesser known uh, half-brother of both of them. Papu Papu. Wait, no, that's not right. So yeah, they didn't really program it right because, well, you know, I kind of have Aku Aku with me. But, I mean, hey, I still have some protection and they went to go and fight the evil twins. It's a win-win for me. So let us grab all these lives that are around here because I am going to be losing them in the next level. Oh yes, because if I screw up on the gems, I am boned. But let us grab everything. You can grab these lives if you want. I find them to be too risky, so I'm just going to leave them alone. Whoop. And there we go. So, go right here. Watch out for these platforms right here. They actually do fall. I didn't know that they did that. I found that out in my practice file. But we are pretty high up. Yeah, that ice climb was uh, not joking, but Oh, look, it's Cortex's blimp. Haven't seen that since Crash Team Racing. Uh oh. Don't worry, the platform will come back. Just takes a little bit. Okay, it just pops back in. That's kind of... Uh, I can't expect too much from this game. But let's go inside his iceberg lab. See what he has planned. We must make preparations for... It's probably for you. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! <laughs> Fools! You thought these two party toys could defeat us? We are masters of the infinite dimensions! With power over reality itself! And riches beyond imagination. Riches? Riches? What's wrong with you? Always bringing up the riches. You don't remember us, do you, Doctor? Should I? You ruined our lives. Allow us to return the favor. Uh, you could always, you know, not return the favor. That, that's a great option. I like that option. How about not returning the favor, please? So we have to fight their ant soldiers now. It seems that the twins want Cortex dead more than anything else. I just happen to be caught in the crossfires here. Right, so kill everyone. And there we go. Never mind. Right. And dead. There we go. This is why nobody likes you. A curse on you, Crash Bandicoot. A curse on you all. We shall return. Oh, forget I mentioned the riches thing, huh? Dr. Cortex, what have you done? Who are these evil upstarts? I've ruined the lives of so many. I can't be expected to remember them all. Such a big head. Such a tiny brain. If we deliver him to the evil twins, perhaps they will spare us. But they'll kill me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Crash, I've been like a father to you. I created you, nursed you, tried to destroy you. So what do you say? With my mighty intellect and your vacuous stupidity, we'll be unbeatable. I like that plan. Come along to the Psychotron. While we can go to the Psychotron, I could actually talk a little bit about this room. This room right here initially showed up within the beta build of the game, as well as the playable demo that was at an E3 with Cortex sitting inside this chair, introducing the game. This area had sort of a warp room mentality, hence why these doors are right here. And there was another deleted scene that I'm going to have play right now. Thanks again to Fake Nina.
Our magic is no match for the twins' power. Hmm. What we need is a little brute force. Mecha Bandicoot is equipped with an electronic brain, programmed with Crash's own cerebral patterns. Are you sure that was wise? Let's bring him home. Engage autopilot! What's the worst that can happen? So yeah, that is an interesting scene. Initially, according to Fake Nina in the comments when asked about it, the Mecha Bandicoot coming back to here was more of a development plan, nothing really concrete. However, there was a cut level in the game that was intended to be played entirely by Mecha Bandicoot, known as Ocean Commotion. Now, Ocean Commotion would take place later within the game, but would still put that Mecha Bandicoot got salvaged and recovered. As for whatever happened to the Vice Versa Reversa device, which was actually pictured with inside of that drawn cutscene, it's not entirely explained where it is. It's believed that it's inside of either this dimension or inside of the Evil Twins' 10th dimension. So it's more likely that it was involved inside the 10th dimension, as we'll see with the final boss of this game later. So let's head now over to the Psychotron. That seems to be where Cortex is headed. He seems very happy to show that thing off. So go inside over here. After a disguised loading screen. And... This is the Psychotron. Gateway to the infinite dimensions. Beyond our universe, somewhere between the ninth and eleventh dimensions, lies the mysterious tenth dimension. And there we must go in order to confront the evil twins, steal the riches, and restore the natural order of things with me on top. We require six power crystals in order to make the leap, and we have four. Hmm. Let's see. That isn't enough! All is lost. Unless... Come along! I love how he had to do math in order to realize that he didn't have enough. A lot of people might hate that Cortex has pretty much become a bumbling idiot, but it suits him. Just like it suits Eggman, it suits Cortex so much. And technically speaking, this is before... Uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise started making Eggman more of the comedic villain. Anyway, we're now going to be heading off to probably the most famous level of all Crash Twin Sanity with one of the most famous tracks. It's my personal favorite stage in this game, as well as many others, which is why I'm going to be saving right before it. The reason why is because it's unfortunately a stage where you have one shot at getting every gem. Otherwise, no dice. You're going to have to restart the level again. I'm going to go through the level as best as I can, and if I miss gems, then I will obviously cut in me getting those gems for the end of the episode, but that's pretty much it. So, let us explode everything to get there. Uh, you have to question why Cortex has so many nitro breaks inside small caverns. I mean, I mean, come on. Does he really need this many? But... Here it is. So, we're going to save right here. This is something unorthodox for me. I normally don't save while I'm capturing, but this is actively what I'm trying to do. So, we're going to put our save file right there because my first save file is my practice save file. So, auto save has been enabled, so we're going to have to disable that again. And let's go. There, to the sea, I tell you. Our salvation floats upon the briny blue. We must reach Engine's battleship and quickly before it sets sail. But how? Think, Cortex, think. Crash had an idea, and it is the single greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slip Slide Ice Capades, 
the Humiliscate. This is just glorious. I love this concept. Now we go after the first of our gems. And I already missed it. So I'm going to have to come back for that one. These gems are difficult to get, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake. Anyway, how does the Humil Escape work? If you hit the circle button, you can speed up and or slow down. Uh, you can turn Cortex around, or you can end up dying like I can. And you can end up grinding on rails using Cortex's grind. <sighs> the greatest of all game mechanics. And the music for this stage is just freaking... I just love it. This is my favorite track in the entire game, by far. This is my favorite track. It's a lot of people's favorite tracks. I've seen 8-bit renditions of this, 16-bit, under SNES, under Sega Genesis. It's just that great of a level. And just, I mean, the concept alone, Crash had an idea on how to get down. <laughs> He's not wrong. All right? But now comes the best parts of these levels. Get them off of me. Shoot. Shoot. Now we're gonna have the chicken sound effect play for a while because the game sort of glitches out on it. Uh, these guys are uh, based on the AI, so here we go. And boom, got ourselves crystal number five. So no worries, Cortex, we got another crystal. Only one more and we're set. But let's keep going. Don't worry, these penguins are rubber band AI based. Right? Now let's go after our next gem, shall we? Which is gonna be the blue gem right here. Watch as the purple gem is the only one I ended up missing. Right? Grind on the rail. I, that sound effect that plays when grinding, that has to hurt. Oh well, not my grind, I don't care. Cortex really does have balls of steel. Coming through! Oh, Ladies? No, no. Excuse me, madam. No. Are those real? What is it? Mother? Behold, the entire reason why I think this game got E10 Plus as a rating. I love this stage so much. All right, so that's the green gem right there. That is a one-time gem to grab too, just like all these other ones, so keep that in mind. All right, and going. Don't worry, Cortex is fine. Cortex can't die. That time I got hit though, so that's not good. All right, so let's see if we can grab ourselves another gem. Right around here, this time we're gonna go after the clear gem. Which is why I totally just jumped over it. Go me. I shouldn't have sped up. So don't speed up on that section. All right now for the hard gem. Ah, dang it. That's the yellow gem. The yellow gem is the hardest one out of all these ones. But get to right here. And we get into a brawler ball. I haven't seen this since Cavern Catastrophe. So at least we managed to get three gems. I say three because the last one is right over here. Or I completely miss it. Gosh darn it. Oh well, so I'm gonna have to cut those in. Meanwhile, a lovely dingo dial is reading his book. I've never been so humiliated. No amount of treasure could ever begin to compensate. Treasure and I? Monza. Interesting. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. I'm going to go back and edit in the rest of the gems to collect for Humiliscate. See you guys next time.
I've never been so humiliated. No amount of treasure could ever begin to compensate. Treasure, I? Bonsai. 